Welcome to 2020 Community Kicks. My name is Lindsay Tarpley, and I'm thrilled to be here to teach you some soccer skills. A huge thank you to Milk Means More for supporting us to do these clinics. Let's go. Welcome to week two. Our focus this week is on passing. We encourage you to find a wall or find a partner somewhere where you can try these new skills. A few things to keep in mind. As you're passing the ball, you want to hit the ball in the middle. If it's too low, it'll bounce up. If it's too high, it'll go right into the ground. Pass it right in the middle. Both knees should be bent just a little bit. You also want to hit the ball with the inside of your foot. And lastly, your plant foot should be pointed towards your target. Work hard and have fun with us. We're going to start with our right foot. We're going to take two touches just like this, stop it, pass it off the wall, stop it, pass it off the wall, stop it, and look, it's a challenging surface, but it doesn't matter, it's about doing it properly. Clean it up, clean it up. If I get a little bit closer, it gets a little bit easier. Now, once I do five well, then I'm gonna to move to my left foot. One, two, three, four, five. Again, if I hit it too low, look what happens. See how it pops up. Okay, if I hit it too high, you don't get a clean pass. You wanna hit it right in the center of the ball, and that gives you a good pass to your teammate. Once you get comfortable playing two touch, try one touch. Now this gets challenging because they have to be great touches in order to keep going. But challenge yourself. How many can you get in a row? Make sure you're staying light on your feet so that you are able to move and receive the ball wherever it goes. Play again, focus on playing the ball with the inside of your foot. Just keep your eye on the ball. From there. One foot's too easy. Maybe you try both. Is it alright? And if you feel confident enough, try to go one touch. But again, stay light on your feet. Make sure that your toe is up and your ankle is down so that you're able to hit it with the middle of your foot. First with the right, as you get more and more comfortable, see if you can do it with your left. For this particular drill, we're going to be using the inside of our foot to pass and the outside of our foot to receive. When we're on the right side of the cone, you're going to want to pass with your right and see with your left. Push that ball to the opposite side of the cone. Once you get to the left side of the cone, you're going to use your left foot and you're going to push that with your right foot. Start off slow so you can feel the rhythm. Once you feel like you can, you get a hang of it, go a little bit faster. Some things to keep in mind is to always have your head up so you know where you're playing the ball. And always stay on your toes so you're ready to receive the ball. Another thing to keep in mind is that your planting foot can always be facing where you want to play that ball. How many good passes can you get in a row playing one touch? My favorite drink is chocolate milk, which is nature's sports drink. It contains proteins and electrolytes that your body loves after exercise. <laughs> 